Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Ed Sheeran's comments on London have spurred a fierce debate over whether the entire capital is sketchy. When he's not off enjoying the football, the 33-year-old singer resides in a mansion in Suffolk and frequently pops into London for events. Along with his £3.75 million country estate, Ed is said to own up to 22 properties in the city which he rents out in affluent areas like Covent Garden. The lyrical landlord also reportedly has three properties in Whitechapel and two in newly redeveloped Battersea. Despite his property portfolio, it seems Ed isn't a fan of the big smoke given his response to being asked where the most dangerous place to be in the UK is. Here, I'd say every area of London. Literally, every area is sketchy, he told US podcaster Theo Vaughn. Ed continued, I think that you cannot be anywhere. It's not like a segregated city. No, I mean the nice areas are sketchy, the bad areas are sketchy, but you just have to not do stupid sh asterisk t. If you wander around with, I dunno, like a Louis Vuitton duffel bag and a 200 grand watch, you are going to get robbed. But just don't do that. Some on Reddit didn't take kindly to the comments, dismissing the Shivers singer as an outsider and pointing out his wealth and fame marking him as a target for theft. He said in the context of wearing a £200,000 watch, wrote Cyclegaz. Not something that most people are doing. JJ198 hands seconded, he's also not just a person wearing a £200,000 watch, he's one of the most recognizable people in the UK wearing a £200,000 watch. To get the latest news from the capital visit usnews.company UK's London News Hub. Sadded added, why do people from outside London, excluding major cities, always think London is some stabby Mad Max type world where death stalks you the minute you leave your front door? It's more likely we have a lower crime rate per capita than some of those sleepy villages, says the guy who appropriated his way through the London grime scene to springboard his career came one cutting comment from efficient underscore spirit underscore 553. Some pointed out that the assumption of an area being sketchy is often rooted in class issues, with people resorting to crime as hard times hit. Others did defend the shape of you hitmaker, explaining that he is correct in that there are no defined sketchy areas in London, it's more blended together. In some international cities, which Ed has likely visited on tour, there are distinct boundaries between dangerous and safe areas that tourists are advised not to cross. Abbreviations Flaky44 said, in fairness, he was saying London is less divided between rich and poor, that everywhere is kind of mixed together, and pointed out that if you're not walking around all flashy you should typically be okay. I think it's probably a fair assessment of London, although it obviously has areas that are better or worse, most areas are more mingled. IC underscore maintenance 1474 agreed, he has an international worldview and London doesn't operate like most places. As a result, the meaning of sketchy and danger in London is very specific and it definitely is worth talking about. I think it's a good thing, and I actually think that's what Ed is getting at too. In general, with obvious exceptions, there aren't good and bad areas when it comes to crime. You could get mugged in Kensington, Soho, Kilburn, or Finchley Road all the same. London isn't crazy dangerous in any given region or for any given background, but there is a veneer of risk everywhere. It's actually a good indicator that London is set up under the thesis that all facets of society can coexist. Prison officer who was filmed having sex with inmate is a married swinger. Major rush hour disruption after three tube lines hit by suspensions. Police probe shocking video of female prison guard having sex with inmate. Man strangled wife in front of her TikTok lover then dumped body in river. I mean. His advice of don't do stupid sh asterisk 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 is common sense for any urban area. Be aware. Don't be flash. Be it Manchester, London or Bristol, it applies. 811545B2-4FF7-4041 said. Some commenters simply found it hilarious that the singer could be someone's landlord, as Happeraptor Z wrote, imagine finding out Ed is your landlord. Imagine sitting at work and having to listen to your landlord on the radio, joked a Steve23. usnews.co.uk has reached out to Ed's reps for comment. 